So far in this course, we've created an additional layout and activity to act as a splash screen for our application. I'm no longer going to need to work with these two, so I'm going to go ahead and close them. And in this lesson, we're going to focus in on the layout and designing the layout with our radio buttons, as well as creating the method for the onclick event for the OK button that we're going to have in our application. So to start with, I do not need the Hello World text view. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I want to change the layout instead of it being relative layout. And if I look over on the XML, I can see I do have relative layout as the default option. I want to change that to the linear layout vertical. So I'm going to go ahead and choose change layout, linear layout vertical, and hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and drag over a new text view. And I'll drop that on here. And I'm going to go ahead and change the ID attribute of this to text view. We'll call this one Enter Amount. And I'll go ahead and hit OK. And next I'll go ahead and change the text value of this. So I'm going to go ahead and say Edit Text. And I'll go ahead and create a new string. And call this string Enter Amount. And for the value, I'll go ahead and put in there Enter the Bill Amount and go ahead and hit OK and OK and now I'm going to go ahead and need one of our edit texts and if I scroll down since I'm dealing with numeric amount I want to select one that has that allows for decimals so there there's the number decimal edit text I'm going to move that over and I'll go ahead and change the ID for this to edit text bill amount and hit OK and I'm going to go ahead and need another text view. I'll go ahead and drop that below our edit text. And I'm going to go ahead and change the ID of this one to text view select tip. Go ahead and OK. And let's go ahead and change the text for this. So edit text. I'll go ahead and create a new string. And I'll call this one select tip. And the string value will say select the tip amount and hit OK and go ahead and hit OK again and now I'll need a radio group so I'll go over here to my palette and there's the radio group the three radio buttons together I'm gonna go ahead and drag that over and drop that and since it comes with the default of three radio buttons, I'm going to need one more. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag another radio button and drop that right in the group. And I'll let that go. So now I have a total of four radio buttons within that radio group. I can go ahead and change the IDs of each one of these radio buttons. So edit ID. I'll call this one radio 10. OK. The second one, I'll go ahead and change the ID for that one. i call that one radio 15, hit OK. The third one, I'll change the ID. Call that one radio 20. And the last one, I'll go ahead and right click and change the ID to radio. I'll say other. Hit OK. And now I need them to say 10%, 15%, 20%, and other. So I'm going to go ahead and come back to the first one, change the text. Get a new string and I'll just call this one 10 and the string value I'll write 10 with a percent sign. Hit OK. For the next one I'll go ahead and do the same thing but I'll do it for 15. So new string. I'll call this one 15 and I'll put 15 percent for the value. OK and OK. For the third one, edit the text, new string, 20, and I'll put 20%, and hit OK, and OK. And then for the last one, we're going to do this one as other. So edit text, new string, other, other, and hit OK and OK. So that creates the text that I need and the IDs that I need for my radio buttons within my radio group.
Okay, I'm going to switch over to the code now so I can see my radio group and the radio buttons in the code. And if I scroll down here now, there is the opening tag for our radio group. And then you can see that I have the closing tag right there. And in between those two tags, I have the four radio buttons that I just created, each with their own unique ID. So there's radio 10, radio 15. Ah, it looks like I have a problem with radio 15. I said radio button 15. Let me go back to change that. I'll click back on the graphical layout, and I'm just going to right click on the 15, edit ID. Let's go ahead and change that to radio 15. Hit OK. And I'll switch back over to the activity main, and that has been changed now. And then I've got radio 20 and radio other. Each of these have a string value associated with them as well. So you can see string 10, 15, 20, and other. And now what I want to do is I want to set the on-click listener for each one of these radio buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and space down here and type in Android colon on-click. And then I'm going to go ahead and create myself a new on-click listener. And I'm going to call it on radio, we'll just say group one click. And now what I'm going to choose to do is use the same method for each one of my radio buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and add another one. Android on click equals and we're going to do this on radio group one click. And I might as well just highlight this now. I'm going to go ahead copy it and I'll just paste it in here for this one as well as this one. All right, so that's going to be the click event for that particular radio group and each radio button. I'm going to switch over now to the graphical layout and kind of go through the flow of how this application is going to work. The user is going to enter in their bill amount. Then they're going to be able to select a tip amount or choose other. Now, if they choose other, I'm going to have to give them an option to type in their text. So let's go ahead and move over another edit text. I'm going to go ahead and move over another number or decimal one. And I'm going to go ahead and right click on this one and change the ID to edit text other tip and hit OK. And I'm going to drag over one more object. And that's going to be another text view that I'm going to use to display the results of how much the tip amount should be. So what I'll do is just right click on this one. Let's go ahead and change the ID. I'm going to call this one text view tip total. Hit OK. And let's go ahead and change the value. So I'm going to go ahead and change the edit text. And let's go ahead and do a new string. And I'm going to call this string tip total. T-I-P total. But I'm not going to set a value for it. In fact, we're going to actually set the value in our programming code. So I'm just going to leave that one empty and hit OK. And you'll notice after I hit OK here, the text view is going to look like it disappears. That's because it has no text. All right, so the last thing I have to do is set up that method for the on-click event for my radio buttons. So I'll just move over here to the main activity.java, and I'm going to go ahead and space down and give me some room to work with. And let's go ahead and create that method: public void, and I believe it was called on radio group one click and I'll go ahead and in parentheses type in view V and outside of the parentheses I'll have my opening curly brace and I'll hit enter to end that curly brace. So I'm going to go ahead and hover over view and import that and let me double check on radio group one click switch over to my activity main.xml look at the code and it says on radio group one click everything looks the same so let's go ahead and go back to our mainactivity.java file and I'm going to go ahead and save both of these files. I'll save this one, come back over here and save this one. And I'll switch back over to the code and in the next lesson we're going to create some variables that we're going to use to do some of these math calculations for our tip calculator.